Welcome to Going to Blue today, everybody. Home of the college football fan. And don't forget about the checklist. Hat check, sunglasses check, Pepsi check, notes check, sources check, and thick skin is a check. And don't forget the same gear to represent your team and yourself in my background. Send it to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina, 29657, and get yourself a shout out. On to the next video. In case you're wondering, these are the teams that we don't have represented for the mini helmets. Tulane, SMU, Navy, East Carolina, Memphis, Tulsa, Temple, South Florida, UTSA, North Texas, UAB, FAU, Rice, Charlotte, Oregon, Utah, Washington State, Arizona, Cal, Stanford, Colorado, Louisville, NC State, Wake Forest, Boston College, Virginia, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Auburn, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Cincinnati, Penn State, Maryland, Indiana, Rutgers, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska Northwestern, James Madison, Coastal Carolina, Appalachian State, Georgia Southern, Georgia State, Old Dominion, Troy, South Alabama, Southern Miss, Louisiana, New York, Monroe, Texas State, Arkansas State, Western Kentucky, Middle Tennessee, Louisiana Tech, Liberty, Sam Houston State, Jacksonville State, Notre Dame, Yukon, UMass, Ohio, Buffalo, Bowling Green, Miami of Ohio, Kent State, Akron, Toledo, Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, Ball State, Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, Wyoming, Colorado State, New Mexico, Fresno State, San Diego State, San Jose State, UNLV, Hawaii, and Nevada. Attention, attention, it is time to sit down, brace yourself, buckle up, because you are now entering the speculation zone. No, this particular video won't be a Get It Gang video, and if you don't know what the Get It Gang is, it's basically a name that I came up with for the group of people that come up with video ideas and leave them in the comment section of my videos. So if you think you have a good video idea, leave it in the comment section of my videos, and I just might use it. On top of that, some people leave comments not intending them to be video ideas, but I like those comments so much that I still use them. So keep that in your head when you're leaving comments in my videos. So we're talking about a chain reaction, a possible chain reaction, and the teams involved Involved are Oregon, Washington, and Notre Dame. Yes, sir. This is what CBS Sports is reporting. The headline was this. What is the Pac-12 actually selling? Ratings without USC, UCLA. Explains league's struggle to land rights deal. So they're saying the reason why the Pac-12 is struggling to land a grant of rights deal or a TV media deal is because they're trying to sell ratings without USC and UCLA because they're headed to the Big Ten. 100% agree. That is facts. Ryan G. Thomas is reporting this. Survival depends on getting a deal by April, talking about the Pac-12, once spring hits the NBA negotiations, we all forgot about that, will have an impact on the money represented by those three dollar signs. ESPN or NBC have which in turn determines Notre Dame's fate. Uh-oh. If NBC lands the NBA, which by the way, I miss the NBA on NBC. One of the all-time greatest themes on television is the NBA on NBC. So I hope it actually happens. But if NBC lands the NBA, it won't have the money to pay Notre Dame 60 to 75 million per year. If it joins the Big Ten, then it gets crazy again, talking about Notre Dame joining the Big Ten. He also says, in reality, Washington and Oregon have every incentive to prolong this into April slash May to see who the new Big Ten commissioner will be, Oregon to get a new president, and to get clarity on whether Notre Dame is forced into the Big Ten, which would open the door for them. Not so sure if I agree with that last part as far as if Notre Dame joins the Big Ten, that would open the door for Oregon and Washington. In fact, I think it would shut the door. They would add Stanford with Notre Dame instead. So that last part, I don't quite agree with. But this overall story, absolutely crazy. Yes, I agree. The Pac-12 is trying to sell that they have ratings, but they don't have USC and UCLA, which is a massive chunk of their ratings. That LA market is number one or number two in the nation as far as television ratings in the cities of the United States. But I do agree with the first part of that last response. Washington and Oregon do have every incentive to prolong this. Because maybe they don't even want to remain in the Pac-12. They want to see who the new Big Ten commissioner will be. Maybe they can talk to him and be like, hey, we applied to the Big Ten before. They turned us down. But hey, we're showing you our worth. The Big Ten would absolutely benefit from adding Oregon and Washington. And maybe he would be more willing to talk to the teams and the presidents saying, hey, we need to vote these guys in. Because it would be a great addition. And UCLA and USC do not want to be left out there on an island. That's one thing that a lot of people are forgetting. UCLA and USC do not want to be the only teams on the West Coast to be in the Big Ten because it's going to be a travel nightmare. So whether the Big Ten adds Stanford and Cal or Oregon and Washington, that would help somewhat in the travels for USC and UCLA. At least they wouldn't be out there on an island. But I think it's a higher likelihood that the Big Ten adds Stanford and Cal. Number one, because of academics and the shared resources would be enormous from Cal and Stanford. On top of that, that's two more California schools. So that would help the most as far as travels with USC and UCLA. 
Oregon and Washington would help somewhat, but not as much as Stanford and Cal. That is for sure. The other thing is NBC bidding on the NBA and how that could affect Notre Dame. Now, that's really crazy. If NBC lands the NBA, he's saying that they won't have the money to pay Notre Dame what they want to be paid. And Notre Dame is asking between 60 and $75 million per year. But if they land the NBA... They won't have that much money to give Notre Dame. So then Notre Dame could have a choice. Do we want to join the ACC as a full-time football member or do we want to join the Big Ten where our hated, hated, not only rival, but just enemy, enemy Michigan resides? Because Michigan is the reason why Notre Dame has not joined the Big Ten yet. I mean, this grudge is going on 100 years, something like that. They really do not want to join the Big Ten because of Michigan. But the Big Ten would be on the table. But the ACC would also be on the table. And remember, I've been making video after video after video, scenario after scenario after scenario about the ACC having those eight teams willing to vote to dissolve the grant of rights and then those teams could go anywhere. But the fact remains, those teams have not voted yet. The ACC is still intact. What are they waiting on? Well, somebody suggested, well, maybe they're waiting on Notre Dame. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe Notre Dame has tipped their head and said, well, maybe, maybe there's a chance that we might join the ACC in the future. In that case, all the teams would stay put because Notre Dame would significantly raise the value of the ACC. So if NBC lands the NBA and doesn't have the money needed to pay Notre Dame, Notre Dame could have a choice between the Big Ten, who has their arch enemy Michigan in there, and the reason why they haven't joined the Big Ten this whole time, or the ACC, where they could be deemed the savior of the ACC. The revenue and the value of the ACC would go through the roof, Nobody would be leaving the ACC if Notre Dame joins the ACC because the TV deal would be renegotiated and the value would go up. Possibly be competitive with the SEC and the Big Ten? I don't know. But at least get them $50 million per team per year, which is much, much better than what it is right now. And it would be escalating as the deal goes on. So by the end of the deal, these teams could be getting paid $80 million per team per year. Yes, that's how big of a factor Notre Dame could be with the ACC TV deal. So if you're an ACC fan and you want the ACC to remain intact, you actually hope that NBC does actually pick up the NBA and that they don't have the money to pay Notre Dame, the money that Notre Dame wants, $60 million to $75 million per year, and they'll have a choice and that they hate Michigan so much, or Michigan, I should say, that they choose you. ACC, they save the day, the value goes up, the teams don't vote to dissolve the grant of rights, and the ACC is here to stay. On top of that, I will say this, there is a clause in Notre Dame's TV contract with the ACC, even though they're not a full-time football member, that if they join a conference before 2036, they must join the ACC. So the only way that they could join the Big Ten before 2036 is if the ACC disbands. So what I'm thinking is they actually won't have a choice. If NBC picks up the NBA and they don't have the money that Notre Dame wants, they would actually be forced to join the ACC because that clause in their contract, unless they wait till 2036 or unless those teams do indeed vote to dissolve the grant of rights and the ACC doesn't exist, then they could go to the Big Ten and the Big Ten would also get four teams out of the ACC. All that equals bad news for Washington and Oregon. So I don't understand that last sentence in that last comment where it says this would benefit Oregon and Washington as far as them going to Big Ten. It absolutely does not benefit them at all. They actually don't want NBC to grab the NBA. They want NBC to have the money to pay Notre Dame. Notre Dame stays independent, and that's another spot open for Washington and Oregon. You know what? I was wrong. That statement I just made, I was wrong. I admit it. I was wrong. They actually want NBC to get the NBA. That way, they can't pay Notre Dame. Notre Dame does join the ACC. The ACC remains intact, and those spots remain open for the Big Ten. I'm saying what didn't make sense is if he said Notre Dame joined the Big Ten, that would open the door. No, 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 no. That's not what you want. You want Notre Dame to join the ACC. That's what would open the door for Oregon and Washington. I still think there's a higher likelihood of the Big Ten picking up Stanford and Cal first because of the USC UCLA travel issues and because of the great academics and the shared resources. But if you're an Oregon or Washington fan, you do want the NBA to get a contract with NBC and Notre Dame be forced to join the ACC. They wouldn't be forced to join the Big Ten. They would actually be forced to join the ACC if the ACC doesn't disband. And if Notre Dame is in the picture, the ACC won't disband. And maybe that's the reason why the teams haven't voted yet. They know Notre Dame could still be in the picture. They're waiting till April or May to see if NBC picks up the NBA. Then they have a real, real shot of getting Notre Dame. This is a wild and crazy story. 
full of speculation, but also full of sources. Dad Gummit, y'all let me in the comments section. Number one, do you think NBC does pick up the NBA and Notre Dame is forced to join the ACC and the ACC is stabilized for the foreseeable future? Number two, if that happens, do you think the Big Ten is more likely to get Cal and Stanford or Oregon and Washington? Number three, if the NBA isn't picked up by NBC and Notre Dame does remain independent, do you still think that Oregon and Washington or maybe Cal and Stanford have the same amount of chance of getting into the Big Ten because it really doesn't affect them at that point. And the final question, do you think NBC will have the money, 60 to $75 million per year, to pay Notre Dame when the time comes, when payday rolls around? That's all I got for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.